Welcome back to IT Reviews. My name is Martin and in this video I will show you the most popular ways to block ads in Firefox and test their effectiveness in practice so that you can choose the best one for yourself. Also for each method I will run two small tests to highlight the real blocking efficiency. The first test will be randomly selected web page with embed ads opening. For the second test I will use the web service for checking ad blockers without using any ad blocking method we have a result of 36 points out of 100. Well, let's move on. Method 1. Ad blocker in the browser. The first and most popular method is to use an ad blocking ad on in your browser. Add-on, this is a small program which adds new or extends existing browser functionality. Large software vendors such as Mozilla have their own stores for add-ons by third-party developers. All updates and themes for Firefox are available in the Firefox browser add-on section on the official website. Let's use the built-in search and enter the word ad block in the search box. As you can see, there are more than 900 different ad blockers. You can sort their position in their list by rating, comments, number of users, and other indicators. For demonstrating this as blocking method, I will use three ad blockers, AdGuard, AdBlock Plus, and uBlock. They are in the top 10 most popular ad blockers and have adapted versions for Windows, Mac OS, and Android. So if you like one of them, you can use it on all your devices at the same time. Let's start from Windows. Come on, open Firefox and hold Control, Shift and A key together to open the add-ons manager. Find the search bar at the top, type ad block there and press enter. This list contains all ad blockers that are available for installation in Firefox. But if you are looking for a specific one, change your search query and enter for example AdGuard. And here it is, first in the list. The process of add-ons installation in Firefox is very easy. You need to click Add to Firefox on the Add-ons page and confirm the permission required for its work. After installation, don't forget to enable it in private mode and check its settings in the Just Open tab. For example, AdGuard, you can additionally enable an anti-phishing module, uh, auto-update filters, set up a whitelist and much more. Now let's go to our tests. We load the first web page and see that banners have been removed, which is a good sign. Now let's run the second test and we get a blocking efficiency score 84 out of 100. Okay, now let's move to the macOS. The macOS installation process will be almost identical. Open Firefox and hold down Command and A to open the add-ons manager. Then add blocker name in the search box, let's use the add block plus in this case. Go to the add-on page, install it, and give the required permissions to work. A new tab was opened too, but instead of settings, it requested a donation. In any case, AdBlock Plus didn't open its settings page, and I additionally show you how to change the add-on settings in Firefox. To do this, open the add-ons manager again, and go to the extensions tab. Find your add-on in the list, and click on the three dots next to it. In the add-on that appears, select settings and now you can customize AdBlock Plus to suit your needs. As you can see, there are fewer options uh, than in AdGuard, but despite this, almost 5 million users use it according to their Firefox add-on store. And our tests. The first test is passed because the banners are hidden. And the second test gives an excellent result in 100 out of 100 blocking points. As for Android, due to the nature of the platform, there are very few browsers that support the installation of add-ons. Therefore, to manage add-ons in Firefox for Android, just like in the desktop version. Open the browser, click on the three dots and select add-ons. As you can see, there are 18 additions in the list. To block ads, you can use uBlock, AdGuard and partially Ghostry. To install an add-on such as uBlock, click the plus next to its badge. Then as usual, grant permissions and confirm working in private mode. To configure it, wait until the add-on appears in the enabled list, click on its badge and select settings. Now let's test how ads blocking works in Firefox for Android. We open the first website, there are no banners. Then we open our second site 
and get 100 out of 100, which is pretty good. So our tests show that uh, browser extensions are one of the best ways to block ads in Firefox. There are hundreds of different ad blockers available in the official Firefox add-on store. They are free and paid with customizable uh, list of filters, additional security options, etc. Method 2. Internal Browser Tools The next method is based on non-standard use of the built-in features of uh, Firefox. I will not describe in detail all Firefox features, as this is a topic for a separate large video. However, if you are interested, then write in the comments and I will prepare a separate review of all the features of the browser. So open your browser settings and go to the privacy and security section. Let's start with the feature at the end of the list, the HTTPS only mode. This feature enables using only HTTPS connections and this allows unencrypted HTTP connections. We select the first work option to enable it in both private and normal modes. Next, we need to switch the do not track feature to always option. Firefox will send the signals to websites that you don't allow them to track your activity. Scroll up a few more tabs and you'll see a description of enhanced tracing protection, a key Firefox feature which you will use to block ads. Set the switcher to strict to complete the ad blocking setup. In this mode, Firefox will block cookies which may break some sites, especially their authorization modules. So let's open any site and click on the shield icon next to the address bar. If you notice that the site is unstable and wants to add it to enhanced tracking protection mode exclusion list, then click on the switcher. Uh, now the site will work as usual. You can manage the white list of sites on the same tab uh, with your browser settings. Just click on the manage exceptions and you will see a list of all excluded sites. Accordingly, to remove a site from the list, you need to use the button right here or open it again and change the switch state again. Uh, as the first test shows, this method can successfully block uh, regular ads on websites. But the second test showed that uh, although it raised the effectiveness of blocking only in 68 points, this does not guarantee complete protection against static graphic ads. The main advantage of this method is that the user doesn't need to install any additional software or add-ons. All the necessary functions are already available out of the box and can be easily configured. The disadvantage of this method is that you must exclude sites from ads blocking uh, if they break their functionality and visibility. Method 3. Ad block software on the device. The next way to block ads in Firefox is to install ad block software on your device. But in this case, ads will be removed in all browsers and software with internet access installed in your system. Adblock software installation is the same as other software on your device. For example, here's how to install AdGuard in Windows. 1. As always, the first step is to find, download and run the installer. 2. Then if you are an advanced user, you can try to change the installation options. If not, just click install. 3. After installation, you can leave the program settings as is or use them to fine-tune AdGuard. As you can see, there is nothing complicated here. Uh, you just need to select the types of content which you want to block in addition to the main list of filters. 4. As in the browser version, AdBlock software also may have additional features. For example, there are filtering level settings, uh, whitelist, parental control module, proxy server and others. Uh, please note that all features are available now due to the fact that AdGuard provides a free trial period to all new users. More details about pricing you can find on its official website. The link to the official website is in the description under the video. The installation process in the macOS doesn't differ from the similar process in Windows. Inexperienced users may have difficulties in activations, filtering of uh, HTTPS traffic. To install the certificate, follow the instruction by the program and OS or just disable this feature as it is not critically required for the effective ads blocking. AdGuard for Android also uh, filters all device traffic from ads. Here the vendor uses OS features and AdGuard works as a local VPN server which blocks advertising requests. Subscribe to be the first who sees new videos on our channel. The basic test was successful, both the side and top banners were hidden while the second test was rather 
unusual. The first launch of this web page showed such poor results that I began to think that the effectiveness of AdGuard is just a marketing trick. But after a few restarts of the test, the blocking efficiency grew and in the end I got results in the range of 70-80 points, which is already a pretty good indicator. Then for the experiment, I also connected the AdGuard browser extension and this gave me a stable blocking result of 92 out of 100. Anyway, this is the most radical method to block ads in Firefox, as it affects all device traffic, not the browser only. However, its effectiveness will be almost the same as with using a browser extension, but all internet connections will be filtered. Method 4 ads blocking with DNS. A less known method to block ads in Firefox is by changing the default DNS service. The most well-known provider of such solution is AdGuard. And now I'll show you how to install it in Firefox. 1. Open Firefox and type in the address bar. About two dots config. Click the I accept risk button to go to the specific browser settings. There will be a search bar at the top of the page. Uh, use it to find the net2rk.trr bootstrap address parameter. Select the variable type string and enter 94.140.14.14. Don't forget to save your changes by clicking on the button on the right. Then find the network trr mode parameter and set it to 2. Uh, finally, set the network.trr.uri parameter to the special URL https dns adguard.com slash dns query. In fact, we have configured the adguard dns server using the dns over https technology, which was recently introduced by Firefox as one of the ways of bypassing different internet restrictions. A small advice. AdGuard also has a family DNS server where, in addition to advertising, there are also filter lists against phishing and adult sites. To connect to such a server, use the 94.140.14.15 IP and three steps of this menu. Uh, this ad blocking method is effective against known ad providers, as we can see on the first test web page. But the counter on the second one shows only 76 out of 100 because DNS blocking doesn't prevent various dynamic scripts from running on this page. Summary. This was the last ad blocking method for Firefox in this video. I hope my test and analysis will help you to choose the most suitable for you. If you know of any more, please add them in the comments below the video so that other people can use them too. And don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thank you for watching this video. Bye!